wife had been flirting with her co-worker. She said she would stop but it just happened again. Is there any future in this relationship? Important announcement. Before we begin with today's stories, I have some bad news. Sadly, I have to inform you that this channel has been demonetized because of sexual content. Because of production costs, I'm going to stop posting videos on this channel in a few days. If you enjoyed my content, I have a second channel where I'll continue posting daily videos. Highly recommend checking it out. Link to my new channel is in the description. Thank you for your support so far and the support you're providing to the community in the comments. Without further ado, enjoy the video. My wife and I have been married for slightly more than three years now. Last Christmas, I found she had been having a long conversation with a co-worker of hers, in which they talked about having had s time multiple times and that they couldn't wait for the next one. The guy said he was going to book a hotel near their office right after Christmas. In this conversation, when he said he was looking forward to seeing my wife, she would reply with things like I'm looking forward to much more than just seeing you, etc. You get the idea. Overly flirty and s time ool. When I confronted my wife, she denied the conversation existed. After deleting it, she showed me her phone to prove it didn't exist. But I had taken a few pictures. She then said it was all virtual and that they never did anything physical. To prove she was right, she messaged her co-worker in front of me asking if he had booked the hotel, he replied not yet. She then asked if he was really expecting them to meet, to which he replied negatively. She promised they would never talk again and I agreed, simply because I love her a lot and wanted to trust her, but in my mind I wasn't completely sure she had been honest. For a few weeks, I must admit I checked her phones a few too many times, so she changed her password, which I was fine with because I was probably being too paranoid. This week, I picked her phone up because I needed a code that had been sent to her phone number I didn't even need to unlock the screen to get it. To my surprise, under the message with the code there were other messages from the same guy. One of them was an audio, the second one was a shirtless photo of himself in front of a mirror, and the third one said sweaty and a few emojis with the tongue. I confronted her since she had promised they wouldn't talk ever again and she said he just wanted to show her he's going to the gym to show progress. But that the rest of the times they talk it's just about work, and that this is just a coincidence. I asked her to show me the rest of their messages but she said she had mistakenly deleted their conversation history. My wife says she's going to change this time and that I never really forgave her and that's why she kept talking to the guy. She says this time she's really going to stop but I have a hard time believing it. Or even if she does stop, I fear when things don't go so well between us she'll do it again. I really love her but can't keep living like this. Is there any situation in which this can work? What would you do? Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1, dude, you are being blind. Redditor follow up, he's not being blind, he doesn't want to believe. He had clear evidence they were ducking back then already. And he latched onto her excuses like a drowning man onto a life ring. She's a serial cheater who is unlikely to change and has no reason to. Who doesn't need to make up excuses because op is making them up for her. Redditor 2, flirty? They've clearly been nailing each other. Tell her too, and feel free to paraphrase. Fuck right off. Redditor follow up, don't even paraphrase. No filter. Just say it. Clearly the wife has no real intentions on being faithful. Even if this had just been flirty non-physical messaging, it still crosses a line, in my opinion. Op, don't let this keep happening, because it will. She will say over and over again that it won't. It will. She will just get better at hiding it by changing his name in her phone or using a different app to talk to him. Oh. And the fact that she somehow tried to turn the fact that she still talks to him back onto you. That shows she was grasping for an excuse and that is a essity one. Not your fault. It is her fault and she apparently takes zero responsibility for it which is concerning. You deserve love. Not this. Redditor 3. You've been married three years and you don't mention kids so I'm assuming you don't have any. Consider yourself lucky, dude. 1. She's cheating on you. A lot of people cheat, most don't get caught. Consider yourself lucky, again, that you don't have to take her word for it because the evidence you found is clear cut. She may eventually admit, 
she may not. No matter, you have your answer. 2. Get a lawyer. You know your marriage is over and you can never trust her again, right? 3. Book an appointment with a therapist. A video chat appointment is better than none at all and even if you have never had therapy before, you would be surprised by how settled you can feel after opening up to someone about how badly you have been hurt. And they will help you see the light at the end of the tunnel, and in your case it's a life without someone who is pretending to love you while deceiving you to serve their own purposes. What are they? The comfort, love and stability that you provide at home while getting it dirty, hot and cheap on the side. Again, sorry dude. Update you were right. I ignored every single one of your comments and eventually caught my wife with the other man. This is a tough pill to swallow, and I can't say I hadn't been warned. Many folks asked me to follow up with an update so here it is, fresh from the oven. After reading every single comment of the Reddit post, my brain just couldn't overcome the catastrophe and the collapse of the world I had built for me in which my wife is my love, my best friend and partner, as well a the person I admire the most. She was entirely perfect, and made me happy for many years. I thought no couple in the world could have what we had. We were both very happy for a long time. We were both attractive, we were both inherently good, had big hearts and were individually wildly successful in our careers. After the Reddit post, I moved to an Airbnb and eventually with family to think things through. It was a terrible time but a psychologist helped me recover from a terrible mental state. It coincided with the pandemic hitting very hard in my city I caught the virus, which didn't help. During this time, we kept talking and my wife was very sorry and continued saying they hadn't met. I knew it wasn't true but was willing to forgive the woman of my dreams, who continued being in the highest altar of my universe. Fast forward last Saturday morning, I went back to our place, ready to forgive her and talk things through in the most mature way possible. And well, there she was, but I was the one who received the biggest surprise, to say the least. The guy was in my house naked, and so was my wife. The guy from the messages, the guy from the pics. The one she said she didn't even like. I caught him hiding in my bathroom as my wife was putting her pajamas on. When I saw him hiding in my bathroom, he uttered sorry dude. For a second I asked myself, is this where I KLL him? But I instantly replied I got nothing against you because the guy was just nailing this hot woman. Even if he was doing so in a house full of pictures of me. Pictures of our wedding and our families. Pictures of my dead father who would be so sad to see how the marriage he never witnessed was going to end. He has always been the reason I try to make the world a better place. He passed away two months before our wedding. I'm sorry. I still love her to death. But I understand enough is enough. Even if my world collapses, I hope I can build a new one without lies and in which I'm not just a blind believer under an altar of a fake god. Godspeed. Redditor's reaction story 2 after. Redditor 1, just make sure you don't take her back, cause she'll do it again. Redditor follow up, she'll do it again for the fourth time? Maybe more if you count how many times they have actually ducked. Redditor 2, God ducking speed man. Your wife will never be sorry for what she did but she'll keep saying she's sorry dozens probably hundreds of times to try and keep her word from crashing down. But you will be manipulated no more. Do not leave your marital home under any circumstance. Find a good lawyer and start filing for divorce. You will come out of this a better man. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Redditor 3, sorry you had to experience this in the most extreme way possible by literally walking in on them naked together. Great composure when almost any reaction would have been justified. Just take your time and take care of yourself for however long it takes. I can't imagine the pain you have. Redditor follow up, op, very sorry it happened but it was literally going to take you walking in on them for her to admit it. What she's done is disgusting, and unforgivable. She's been lying to you for how long? Time to end it my friend. A long journey ahead but we believe in you, you don't deserve to be disrespected like this. Story 2, I deleted my old post for fear that I was overreacting. Turns out you all were right. I could honestly just use someone to talk to. I don't really have anyone other than family and I don't feel comfortable talking to them. Almost two months ago, I created this one off Reddit account and posted about how my wife told me she had feelings for a co-worker. 
I copied the content I posted it below for context but it's really long, but ultimately deleted it because most on here were telling me she is definitely still pursuing it and I just started to feel like a s city husband. I didn't want to believe it, fast forward to last Friday, I overheard a conversation the two of them had privately in her car for an hour and it was utterly devastating. It was damning for both of them. I confronted her about it, she just sort of seemed numb. I didn't see any remorse in her eyes, but I don't know what she was thinking. She left for a while and eventually came home hours later. We talked a lot. She cried, I cried, we said we wanted to heal and move on. I thought we were working toward healing, but I think I honestly never gave myself the time I needed to process everything and just started to lose it. I spent hours in my office yesterday crying and I wrote a seven-page letter of seething vitriol to the affair partner of just hate. I didn't send it, I plan to burn it. I'm not a crying guy. I honestly feel so pathetic each time it happens. I don't know what to do. I packed a bag and checked into a hotel for an undetermined period of time. I just feel so low, so hurt, so sad, and so angry. This room feels like a prison. I can't even look through my phone without a million reminders of her. We have been together for 11 years, married for six next month, and have a 10 year old son. I'm just still in shock. So throw me a line somebody out there help me I'm on my own I'm on my own throw me a line I'm afraid that I have come here to win you again with trembling hands. Previous post. Wife has feelings for co-worker and I'm struggling. I'm going to apologize now because this will likely be a lot to read. In all honesty, due to the length I expect this to be, I also expect this will just disappear into the reddit void. I don't really post about much especially as it relates to my personal life or relationship with my wife, but I'm struggling with wrapping my head around things and I'm curious what others think or would do in my situation. Background and context, I'm in my early 30s and my wife and I have been together now for over 11 years. We had a child early in our relationship and he recently turned 10. We've also been married over 5 years now. We've had our ups and downs but have always been able to ultimately work through anything together and end up stronger because of it. We've both made mistakes and both have worked to improve ourselves after any issues. It's been good overall and I absolutely love my wife. I'm talking head over heels in love. She's incredibly beautiful, she's smart, she makes me laugh, and most of the time she makes me feel loved. But during the fall and winter of last year, we hit some dark times. I think I might have started to take advantage of our marriage and didn't invest into it like I should have. Take advantage in the sense that we weren't really being romantic or intimate, and I wasn't being as lovey and attentive as I could or should have been. Trust me when I say I see and understand the part I play in all of this. But I'm going to pause here to say before the fall and winter of last year, she had been working in a role where she was put in contact with the guy from another team with some relative frequency. He's a little younger than her and he's really into a lot of music, just like my wife. Music is something that resonates with her soul and impacts her deeply. She has a strong connection to it. So this guy she's working with is in a band and has a girlfriend. He's super into music. They share songs, playlists, and things like that. To what extent, I honestly don't know. He's a very animated person, makes her laugh a lot, talks to her all the time, spends a lot of time chatting and on one-on-one -on -one video calls together. I know she's friendly with the guy, she tells me and seems to try to keep things on the up and up, as best I know. And things are fine and I think nothing of it for a while. Fast forward to late summer and she's not taking a role directly in the same overall team as this guy. Hooray! They now are attending the same team happy hours where alcohol is involved. She's FaceTimed me a few times while she's out with her team and every time, they're sitting next to each other. Okay, no worries, but on two occasions, they ended up driving the other one home. I guess one time he either lost his keys or locked them in his car and conveniently didn't know his girlfriend's phone number yeah I suppose he legitimately might not have so my wife had to drive him home. On another occasion, she had too much and got sick and, rather than call me to come get her, he drove her home. But what really looked bad to me was that they were parked up the street a few houses and they just sat in his car at later in the night for a while talking about whatever. I found out because my dog kept pawing at the door to go outside. 
I took him up the block and found them together. They appeared to be just talking. I looked at her and just had the most what the duck are you doing look on my face. So I continue walking my dog, circle back, and she's still in there. She got out as I was approaching and she was s at face stumbling on the road. Why wouldn't she have called me? Her mom had a health incident back in December and I honestly didn't step up to support my wife and I regret it every day. I really think that's what pushed things for her thoughts on this guy to the next level. There's some history and obviously so much not in this post that I don't want to get into, but I don't know why I didn't step up. But I didn't. Anyway, this guy is aware and checks in on her every day. Obviously this resonates with her and I think this is when everything started to click for her, but I can't read her mind. So, at home, there end up being nights where she's in the bathtub with the lights out and candles lit just listening to music with a bottle of wine. Once or twice, she knocked out an entire bottle of wine and was just crying and got sick and basically spent the night on the bathroom floor. She's in a deep dark spot for a while. She's crying a lot at this point, but I don't put the pieces together yet. Fast forward a week or two and she decides to start learning to snowboard she's wanted to for a while, but with our schedules and everything we never prioritized it. Well, homeboy says he snowboards and can teach her. Okay, go for it and have fun. They're out there together and apparently this guy never told his girlfriend he was taking my wife to snowboard. No clue why, no clue if his girlfriend knows to this day. I'm not super pumped they're going together, but I ski and lessons are expensive so it is what it is. Nothing comes of this, just pointing out a few things as we go. I guess at this point I'm getting suspicious. After the holidays, things are really getting dark so we start to talk. The first few times, she talks about us both working from home since the pandemic and just being on top of each other all the time her office is downstairs in our house, mine is up. So we're not physically together all day, but I get it. She talks about needing some space, maybe considering getting an apartment to live by herself for a few months since she never has. I'm confused, I'm hurt. But I'm with her. I tell her I understand and that if this is what she needs, I support it and I support her. I told her I'd help her find a place, I'd go check places out with her to make sure they're safe, I'll help her pay for what she needs help with. I'm crying a lot at this point. I just don't understand why this is happening, but if you love someone you let them go, right? After a couple weeks and more talks, she eventually tells me that she thinks she has feelings for this guy she's working with. She said she's never said this to him. But I'm the back of my mind I get the feeling that they'd already been flirting and whatnot all this time. I honestly have no clue, I'm just so hurt. But like I said before, I recognize the part I played in getting to this point. We talk. A lot more over the next few weeks. I'm trying to be supportive, be cool, be a good husband and just be understanding because I know being a human is hard and feelings are complicated. Sometimes s it just happens, but I'm wrecked by it all. We both cry a lot during all of this and we're trying to figure it out. I'm struggling because I know he's a good friend to her and he helps her a lot at work with all kinds of things, and I appreciate that, but I mean. My wife just told me she might have feelings for someone she works with every day and will continue to work with him every day for the foreseeable future. What would you do in that situation? We're trying to get back on the right path and I'm trying to really improve my prior shortcomings. I'm trying to reinvest in my marriage. I picked up about four or five books regarding marriage and how to put my wife first and just be a better husband. I've been reading a lot, I've been trying to be present in every conversation, I've been calmer and more understanding about things. I'm genuinely trying here. I'm not out of shape 5'11 and 160 pounds, but I've been focusing on my appearance to catch her eye again and it's helped. Things were really good for about a month or so there. But her work gets more demanding on her time which sort of puts them together more which now makes me feel like I'm getting deprioritized and I'm playing second fiddle. But it's like she's on her phone again more I don't think she's doing anything wrong, I just feel like a lot of other things are coming before me again and I feel like our intimacy is waning and I'm getting lonely. I'm getting sad again because I'm feeling like I'm not as important as her work. If I'm being honest, I make a really good living and she doesn't even need to work if she doesn't want to. We've had that conversation as well and she really struggles with walking away from her job. Look, if I'm being honest, 
Had I met the guy first I think I'd have been really good friends with him. But at this point, I'm so far gone from it that I just want him completely out of the picture. I'm just struggling to understand my emotions around all of this and I'm hoping for some perspective from both sexes on this one. If you made it this far, thanks for reading. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, Don't do the pick me dance. Get a lawyer. Get your ducks in row. Your child deserves a stable home, not one where his father is an emotional wreck BC of his mother. Get out. Redditor follow up, going to jump on this comment. Op, I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. You don't have to make a decision right now. Please allow yourself some grace. You are grieving the marriage you thought you had. It's okay to cry. You should return home so you're with your son but don't do the pick me dance HTTPS www.chumplady.com 2012 the humiliating dance of pick me and don't fall victim to hysterical bonding HTTPS www.healthline.com health relationships hysterical bonding except that your wife is in the affair fog HTTPS www.affairhealing.com affairfog.html and that she will trickle truth http www.movebeyondtheaffair.com blog 2014 why the trickle truth hurts you don't try to talk or engage too deeply with her employ the 180 technique https www.survivinginfidelity.com documents library articles discovery the simplified 180 for now this is to protect you and your mental health. Don't let her blame HTTPS www.thehagpsychologist.nl What is blame shifting escaping responsibility you and don't let her deflect HTTPS www.google.com amp s www.powerofpositivity.com deflect instead of responsibility reasons percent 3 fam from her actions. Look into therapy and talk to family and friends. Don't go through this alone. Allow yourself time and space to process this. Focus on yourself and your son. Read up on the psychology of affairs. And how to recover from them on a personal level. www.survivinginfidelity.com is a good resource. Arm yourself with knowledge to help you through this. You can look into reconciliation but know that it often fails and is a grueling process. The better bet would be to consult a lawyer. Redditor 2. Op commenters in this sub are not in favor of reconciliation. It's hard. Takes a long time with no guarantee of success. It will never be 100%. If you are looking to reconcile try R as one after infidelity. However, as you do not mention her showing remorse and begging you not to divorce I can see little hope for reconciliation. Do not leave the family home get a lawyer. Do what he says. File for divorce even if you hope to reconcile. It can be stopped at any time. Separate finances. Change all your passwords everywhere. Close joint credit cards. Move important documents to a safe place. Check out the 180 save marriage get STD check. Do not have S time with your so. Maybe get paternity test for child. Get individual professional non-religious counseling to help you cope and to help make decisions. Do not drink or do drugs. Get exercise especially cardio. Go to the gym often get out with friends and family. Get busy with work, hobbies, sports. Inform your family and STBX family after being served change your will good luck. Op answer, I hate reading every word of this, but I know deep down you are correct. Redditor 3, sorry. Don't carpet sweep this. First, your wife needs to move out. She screwed up. Second get a lawyer. Know your rights. As far as the AP, he is not your problem. Your wife is. File today. Have her served at work. That'll wake her up. Op answer, should we not try counseling first? I just want to be able to say I tried everything I could. Also, we both work from home so that would be interesting. Remember to check out my new channels. Link in the description. Have a nice day.